Hey guys, so today I'm filming a very exciting video. This is going to be the intro for my second seasonal project pan challenge. This is going to be the finish five by fall challenge that went around last year, but I wanted to do it this year. And I had a lot of success for my last project, which was the finish four by 4th of July. I will have that playlist linked down below in case you want to check out those videos and see what products I chose and how I did. And I was just really motivated from that project to jump into a another one. So I am giving myself three months from today to complete this project, which will be on the first day of fall. I think three months sounds like a reasonable amount of time for the products I have chosen. So all these products will be able to be worn together, which I think is very important. And they are all products that I think will be perfect to use in the summertime, which means that I will be more dedicated to using these items, which I think is a good strategy. So hopefully it does work out for me in this project. So now I'm just going to show you the products and where I am starting out with my progress. The first item is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the Brightener shade and I am starting out right here. And I had one of these in the Neutralizer shade in my Finish 4x4th Four Four of July challenge and I went through that in about two months so I definitely think I can finish this up in this project. So then the next item is to be paired with that concealer and this is the Sonia Cash Look Loose Brightening Powder, and this is a dupe for the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder Loose. And as you can see, I'm about down to here. I don't have too much of this product left, but for me, it takes way longer to use up a loose powder than it does a pressed powder. So we will see how long that takes me, and I'm going to be using those two together, like I mentioned. So my third item is the one that I'm the most concerned about. I don't think it's impossible, but it will definitely be a challenge. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo two in the shade bad to the bronze. I have used a lot of this, but there is still a ton left. I have seen people finish these up in projects. So I decided to really challenge myself and include this in my finish five by fall tag. I'm wearing it on my lids today. I've been wearing it on my eyes for the past two or three weeks. So hopefully if I keep up that momentum, I'll be able to complete it. But I love this base. It is a beautiful cool tone bronze shade that is perfect for every day, like a one shadow look. So I have marked where I'm starting off on the outer packaging and hopefully with each update we will see more and more pan showing. So very excited about that. My fourth item is an eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Bourbon, which is a brown with golden shimmer to it. And this started out as a mini size and I have used a little bit of it. So this is a product that I do not use very much because of that golden shimmer. I find that it doesn't glide over eyeshadow as smoothly as a plain brown liner. So I wanted to really push myself to use it up in this project. And I will be marking my progress on this piece of paper because this is a sharpenable pencil. It doesn't have a plastic outer packaging for me to mark on. So here's where I'm starting out with this pencil. My last item is a lip product. This is the Revlon Colorburst Lip Butter in the shade Peach Parfait. I put one of these in my last project and that is because the Revlon lip butters are my oldest lip product in my collection so I want to use them up before they really go bad and this is the shade Peach Parfait like I mentioned I'm wearing it on my lips today this is a beautiful peach shade with golden shimmer very similar to NARS Orgasm I can feel the shimmer on my lips but it isn't a gritty feeling I actually don't mind it and I find that this formula plus the shimmer makes my lips look more plump. So this is where I'm starting out on this lipstick and this is a little bit more than I had of my strawberry shortcake that was in my last project. So I think that if I keep this in my pocket and reapply it a couple times throughout the day, wearing it almost every day, I think I can get this done. So those are my five items. I think I picked out a good variety of things that I can wear all together. Some are gonna take me longer than others. I have no doubt that I will be able to finish up the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. I am very confident in those. I am feeling mostly confident that I can finish up these two items, the Urban Decay 24-7 Liner and the Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait. 
Um, I was really nervous to finish up a lipstick, but I was able to do it in my last project, so now I'm feeling more confident that I could finish this one as well. So the only product that I'm not feeling confident that I can finish in this amount of time is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze because there's just so much product in there. So because of that, I have decided to add in a little security blanket item, which will be a sixth item that I'll be trying to finish up along with these other five. If I find that I get to the end of the project and I don't finish one of my original items but I did finish my security blanket item then I can swap that out and still be able to say that I finished five by fall so I'm gonna try my hardest to finish up all of those I'm really really dedicated to that Maybelline color tattoo my security blanket item is the Maybelline baby lips lip balm in the peppermint scent and this is how much product I have left in this item so this is a product that I would try to always have on my purse and I reapply multiple times throughout the day. I do not enjoy this lip balm whatsoever, so I definitely want to finish it up and move it out of my collection. So those are my five items for the Finish 5 by Fall Seasonal Challenge and also my security blanket item. And I'm very excited about this project. I'm really enjoying these seasonal makeup challenges because it is getting me to actually use up things in my collection. And I get really pumped about my updates and really using things up. And I want to challenge some of my friends to do this because I think it is such a cool experience. And I know that they can do it if they put their minds to it. So I'm going to be challenging Ami from AM Beauty Life. I'm Amanda Alexander, Syl Gordon, Samantha Jane, and I will be tagging more of you that I will have listed in the description box. If you are interested in doing this challenge or you are already doing it, please let me know in a comment down below so I can follow your progress. I hope you guys will be excited to follow my progress through these next three months. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.